Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion, uh, doing my first solo review, so I thought we'd kick off things with some really special sets. Uh, this is one of the brand new Assassin's Creed weapon packs, also known as Adewale. It is set number CNG88, has 31 pieces and should retail between 6 to £10. Okay, so anyone who collects Halo or Call of Duty should know that these little weapon packs are quite commonplace now. They give you a great looking figure, a little terrain piece and usually some additional accessories, usually with a few more paint applications than what we'd see normally. And Assassin's Creed, um, it's no different, it's beautifully done. Um, as you can see, the colours are so vibrant on this guy. Now, for those of you who don't really know this character, this is um, Adewale from Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. He was the first mate on the Jackdaw, and um, in the DLC expansion, he ends up becoming his own assassin in his own right, and ends up saving um, a, quite a lot of people, to be honest. It's a, quite a short DLC, but he saves a lot of people and does a lot of good in such a short time. Okay, so let's start with looking at the figure. So like I said, this is Adewale from Assassin's Creed 4, and this is how he appears in the DLC. So he doesn't really wear this outfit in the campaign, the main campaign of Assassin's Creed 4, but then when you play as the guy yourself in the DLC, this is how he looks. So Megabox did really well faithfully recreating his outfit. You've got all the gold trim going down this figure. You've got the dark blue vest and the skirt piece. You've got the red sash over his waist. You've got the brown boots. They are really, really dark brown, almost black, but that brown. Uh, you've got the nice little strap running over his chest that you can attach his sword to in this little slot, which is really, really good. Uh, then you've got the uh, burr arms, you've got the uh, hidden blade that can plug onto this guy, and you've got his trademark signature weapon, the sh sugar cane machete. Now this is, I think the first time we saw it was in the... Um, Aveline Assassin's Creed game, um, but obviously this it, it was proved such a, to be such a popular weapon that it's now in this game as well. And Adewale is quite a fan of using it. Now, as you can see, this weapon here it has a lot of great colour. It's got this red little grip area. It's got a nice silver shade going all the way up to the top. And if you look, it's even got a little crack in the blade as if it's been from overuse. Now, another key feature on this figure is the removable hood, which I'll demonstrate now. Uh, underneath is a unique Adewale head sculpt with some dark blue tattoos just under the eyes uh, and chin. These are really great details. They're in there in the game, so it's great that Mega didn't just put a head on there and be done with it. They paid a lot of attention for this figure. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, to plug the hood in, he has a little hood, um, a little hole, I should say, for the hood on the top of his head, which can be a little detracting if you want to keep him unhooded. Um, but I don't think it's too much of a big deal. Um, it's just going to probably disappoint a few people in terms of detail. But to be honest, I don't see how they could have done the feature anyway else. And I think for the most part, people are going to have him with the hood up because people like the Assassin's Hood. Um, as we've established after how many games we've had now. Uh, you can tell me in the comments below. I'm up to about, I think, is it five, six games now? Uh, anyway, let me know. So, as I mentioned earlier, rounding out this set is this little terrain piece. Now, this is built on a typical tile that we've come to expect from these kind of weapon packs. But here you get a little bit of grass, a little bush, uh, some little barrel, which is a great little detailed piece. And what looks like to be shipwrecked wood here, which is a great little detail, especially because these guys hang around on pirate ships all through the game now. Uh, so you've also got these little clips here and here. Now, these can be used to attach weapons, which this is an extra pistol that came with the set. This can be given to Adewale, put in his holsters, but you can clip it on here. And it's kind of like what the box, um, the box art suggests that you do with it. So that's where I've put it. But it's a great little silver pistol. We've only really seen these in brown before, so seeing it in silver as a different colour is quite a nice little change. A little bit of variety for us. But past that... There isn't much to say about this, but it is a weapons pack, and the key thing are the weapons and the figure itself. So, as a set, it's actually really good. 
Now my favourite feature from this terrain piece is the fact that you can plug the figure in up the top. It makes it like he's jumping down onto a target on, or just you know free running over some uh, debris. It looks like a really great pose when you can get him on jumping off. And I don't know if Mega intentionally did that, but I'm glad that they used these pieces to allow this because I love having these assassins pose jumping off things. They look really, really good. So again, that's another bonus to me in uh, for this set. Now, this is a great little set that you can add to your collection. Get a great figure with some great detail and articulation and weapons. Get a great little terrain piece that you can pose them off. This set also goes well with the Gunboat Takeover set with Edward Kenway in, or the Pirate Crew Pack, you know, they are all related sets, so it'd make a really nice addition to round out the whole trio of sets related to Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, this is highly recommended, definitely should pick it up, and for 6 to £10 you couldn't ask for anything else, it's a fantastic set. Okay, so that's it for the review today, I hope you've enjoyed watching it, I've enjoyed reviewing such a great little set. And we will be reviewing more Assassin's Creed, Halo and Call of Duty sets in the near future. We've got a lot of great new sets we're really excited about. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next review. Bye!